Hi, Suzanne and Lori. This is John with Opals. Your data has been imported. It's all finished. So I thought I'd send you a short clip showing how to run your shelf list to have a look at it. Admin, Reports and Tools. Far left, Item Statistics Reports. Second from the bottom. And when it opens after I've clicked it, it will have run. And I'm seeing 7,307 bib records. 8,181 holdings. Here's your call numbers. All these columns are sortable. Uh, you can select all pages and export it as a CSV if you'd like to view it in a spreadsheet. So there's your uh, there's your shelf list. Um, and it looks good. Um, okay, I thought I'd show you one other thing. We have your locations all up and running and here's your location filter option. So let's just choose adventure. I'm going to put it in an asterisk and get all the items that are in your lo adventure location. Let's see what we have here. There we go, 336. And you'll also see that location is showing on the short record that students and teachers will see. And we're seeing adventure and there's one item in adventure. And then you also have a refined search column with location under the word adventure, I searched, well, I did an asterisk, sorry. Uh, you have 43 in the stacks, adventure 336, etc. Here's subject headings, okay, showing everything under the adventure location. Uh, BISAC, which are the book industry standards, that's why they're all in caps. You have Lexile, etc. Alexile reading levels, and you can also put your reading levels on these short uh, uh, records here of your shelf list. Sorry, I'm looking at your records and talking at the same time. Sorry about that. Uh, one other thing that you can do, and we'll do this in Zoom, is your drop down for anywhere. This is quite long, and mon much of it is not needed uh, for students searching. I mean, you can keep it all, but oftentimes I whittle it down to make it a little user friendly, a little bit more user friendly. For example, LC class, LC control number, you're a Dewey library, don't really need these. So we can look at those as well, and we can look at these drop downs and do uh, all sorts of configuring. In addition, your let's go to your home screen real quick. Uh, the colors, the uh, icon, all these are editable. You can add as much as you like, some resources. Um, I see somebody is, uh, maybe one of my colleagues put this picture in. Maybe you did. Maybe you've already been using it. Um, and the colors, maybe these are your school colors, but the blue and the kind of the cranberry look can be edited as you like. So I thought I'd send this off and you can have a look at your data and uh, email anytime. Look forward to working with you in a Zoom.